Hello and welcome to Thief 2 The Flying Age. Uh, subtitled The Abominable Flying Machines of Dr. Zeppelinger. A uh, Thief 2 fan mission by Sterlino. It doesn't have a briefing mission, but a uh, briefing video, so I'm gonna have to read it out. But um, let's sit here where it's, less, where it's less noisy while I do that. The mechanists are in confusion. Many of them turn back to the Hammer religion. Many pass through a mystic crisis. But once more, something is moving. A scientist with a new progressive thinking called Illuminarium has attracted the attention of the remaining mechanists. Dr. Zeppelinga, a colleague of Karras a long time ago, has now built various new weird mechanisms. The strangest of these is a big, dangerous and absurd machine that flies. Yes, it flies. An unbelievable but true it is not the only thing that flies. Many new bizarre machines have originated from Do Dr. Zeppelinger's manor. The enthusiastic locals are impatient because it has been announced that Dr. Zeppelinger will unveil a marvellous giant balloon tomorrow. Some of the pagans are seriously concerned about the environment. These are the sons and daughters of the old pagans, children of the forest who grew up in the city and were educated in a normal school. When they reached the age of maturity, they didn't forget their origins, but banded together to battle against all technology. They founded a secret guild to establish a network of spies around the city. You have heard rumours that the name of that guild is the Green Leaf. The agents of the Green Leaf are really worried about the way events are unfolding. They remember your participation in the assault at the gas station and decide to contact you, considering you to be the best man to assist in the battle against this new menace of the Dark Age. First they tried the simple method of asking you, but after your negative response they decided to use a more subtle way. I guess assault at the gas station must be another mission I haven't played yet. Well, I guess I can do it as a prequel then. I'm Denlock from the Greenleaf. Just to update you about the current situation, Karras is dead, the mechanists have collapsed, and now this guy, Dr. 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 Zeppelinger, abetted by the Duke von Braun, is conspiring against us all by the creation of those weird, strange flying machines. Garrett, you must help us to defeat this new threat. Dr. Zeppelinger is about to unveil his most fiendish creation, a giant flying balloon machine named Zeta-1. You must infiltrate and steal the propellerizer machine, the uh, propellerizer machine, because that will render all those bizarre flying machines utterly useless. The propellers a machine is a machine that serves to convert some simple minerals to a kind of fuel that is useful for all kinds of flying machines. It has to be moved from Dr. Zeppelinger's manor to a more secure secret location, and the Doctor has decided to use the big airship Zeta-1 to do so. It seemed just another day, but then you found a message scroll near the entrance door. It was an invitation to a good restaurant to meet a fabulous blonde woman, Cassandra. After you had finished eating the most delicious meal ever, a Greenleaf agent appeared and let you know that they had put a very small green crystal in your champagne glass. That crystal contained a powerful and deadly poison. Within 36 hours, the crystal envelope will disintegrate and release the poison directly into your blood. They have a method to remove that crystal with no problems, but you must follow their instructions and do everything they want in less than two days. 36 hours or you will die. So they didn't trust me to help them, they poisoned me? Or is that, uh, I'm a little confused, that seems like quite a non sequitur, but maybe that's, maybe that's just telling me I have a, uh, time limit in the mission. Let's see. Find a way to sneak inside the flying balloon machine that is stored in the hangar, locate a secure hiding place and wait until the machine flies. Thief, fly, high are the difficulties. Uh, let's try fly difficulty. And just buzz about and find some rotting meat to sit on. Yeah, well, let's see what this is like. Sterlino presents. The Abominable Flying Machines of Dr. Zeppelinger. Message. Meet me at Carson's restaurant. Signed, Cassandra. <laughs> Didn't you like the food? You've been poisoned. Poisoned? 
Now you must follow our orders. Do something for us within 36 hours, or you will die. We have the antidote, and we'll give it to you if you return in time. Damn, I'm in trouble. Yeah, let's take my sword. What else do I have to start with? Lockpicks? Uh, sword, blackjack. Not a single arrow. Okay, I have no health, but lots of medals. Let's hope they don't take the medals from me with their with their swords. What are we doing here? We're in the forest. That's not what I expected. Oh, hmm. Well, I can't put out their fire. There, didst thou see it? This could be uh, hazardous to my health. <coughs> Mayhaps I can. They are blinded by the bright fire, and I may. Just moss in mine eyes. Verily, it was moss. <coughs> moss shaped like a sneaky thief. His moss, nothing more. <coughs> Hast thou any gold? Yeah, you're not in the builder's house, you're in the pagan lands. Look at the trees and grass. <coughs> Alright, I think I think I got past my right. Hello, is that a tree tree beast? What's that could be helpful to me. Maybe I should wake it up and lose it. It would, could be interesting. Lead it to the uh, Hammerites. Or they might kill it. I don't know how strong they are. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to quick save and do it just because it will be fun. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Maybe it's not a real tree beast. Alright, maybe it's dormant. Three wells. This must be the hangar where they keep the giant balloon. Do we have a map? We have no map. Yeah, sneak inside the flying balloon machine that is stored in the hangar. Well. Hmm. Uh, I guess my sneaking will be more effective if there is no guard, right? If no guard is knocked out, leaving evidence that I've been around. So if I wait here for the guard to uh, come and go, then I can, uh, when they go around the corner, I can come and open the door. I don't know if the door is locked. It very much likely might be, so I might have to pick the lock. Nay. For the memory of leaves flapping, nothing more. Yes, those those pestilent memories of flapping leaves. It is not locked. I could go inside, but let's see if there is anything else nearby that may Prove valuable. Well, I mean, there's the balloon itself. Maybe I don't need to sneak into the hangar to get into the balloon. I mean, the, the back door seems guarded, but is the front guarded at all? I see... No sign of... Guards? Unless... No, that's just a light. How strange. I mean, maybe that person patrolling isn't a guard, isn't specifically guarding. Maybe they don't think there's anything to guard. Maybe they feel nothing could get here. Alright, well, let's get into the hangar the uh, easy way then. 
nice and dark. I have to find a way aboard. Well, presumably that'll be the door. But perhaps there's something else useful. Nope. Not there anyway. Ambush. You're under arrest. Apparently so. Yes. The next morning. Okay. Well, that didn't work out the way intended. There was a secret somewhere and I missed it. All right. You are in jail. It's six a.m. Some guards are sleeping. Time to escape. Remember, you have only a few hours to complete your mission. Oh, that's right, they poisoned me. Dang. Does Garrett say dang? Doesn't sound like a very Garrett-y word. Do I still have my lockpicks? Did they take my lockpicks? They took my lockpicks. How am I supposed to escape? The rat's going for the cheese. Does that help me? No, the rat's giving me the keys as an exchange for the cheese. It's a very, very friendly and helpful rat. No, no, no. No, no, bring me, bring me the keys. Oh, you did. Oh, thank you, Ratty. You're, you're a very good rat. You can get your cheese now. Or shall I get it for you? Someone say something. Whoops. Here you go, Ratty. Uh, I probably should I not. It's nothing now. Probably should not have woken him up, right? I could let you out, but it might endanger me. I wonder if there is actually a time limit on this. Well, this is not going to be a very successful way to go, is it? Not unless I get my uh, some equipment. There is no equipment in here. I should not have come in here. On the other hand, if you distract this guard. He maybe won't see me. Hmm. Seeing things. No, you're, you're not seeing things. This is the whole point. Weapon storage service. All the toughing tools are stored in here, as are the main group of proof objects. Benny works here, so don't break any laws. Signed, the new sheriff. Hmm. Can't reach any mines. I could knock this guy out. Perhaps I don't need to. False alarm, I guess. I don't like the looks of that. Oh, he's coming. Dang. Word. Ouch. No, 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 no. Don't knock me out. Here, have this. Well, that was not successful. <laughs> I knocked out the other prisoner instead of the guard. <laughs> Whoops, whoops. All right, uh, okay, I got past here. Do I have my blackjack? I do have my blackjack. You know what, let's just, uh, Something there. nay. Let's just deal with him now, <coughs> for safety. He was already sleeping on the job, so, more sleeping on the job isn't gonna surprise anyone, right? Right, what else? Did I get anything? Everything I could reach from here. 
I mean, there's a door, there might be another way in, but uh, there's also a time limit, so. Can I get out this way? No. It's all bad, I'm gonna have to get out this other way, so I'm gonna have to see if I can get past this guard. Maybe you can be a good distraction. Or not. Why are you... Why are you going back to your cell? Are you alright, man? You're, you're free. Dang. Alright, well... I still don't have any water arrows, so... point. No, no, it wasn't mine. No, I did that. God, you, don't, you shouldn't get spooked by seeing an unconscious guard, you know? You know what? Let's, let's do this the classic way. Look, you got your cheese. Should eat it. There you go. <laughs> Nothing like locking the guards in your own cell. Right, well, if you're not going to escape, then they'll uh, they'll better lock you back up. Oh, don't complain. It's your own fault. So how do we get to this extra stuff here? Well, it's two mines. I don't suppose I need it. I can't break this down, can I? No. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do. It. Oh, there's a healing potion there. That's that. I'll take that. But I guess we're gonna have to do without, without anything else. Oh, hang on. Did it light up? No, I just kind of thought for a second it did. Guards' arms aren't long enough. All right, fine. We'll we'll go out this way without the rest of the stuff. But of course, we're gonna trash the place as we go. Because uh, shouldn't we complete this game for these guys? All right, nobody on guard outside, huh? Take some moss for sure. Want some more? What's this room? The morgue. Hold your nose. And there's a uh, sewer access, which seems like a good way out of here. Let's see if there's anything of value in the morgue. You know, maybe this. Some of the stiffs have not been uh, stripped of valuables. Ooh. Got a guillotine in the morgue. Seems uh, unconventional. Senol de Bin, cause of death, smoking. Horacio Carlin, cause of death, unknown. Marilyn Manson, legs tied, dismissed. Marlene Detroit, body found with no head. Paris Hilton, cause of death, perfume poisoning. Brittany Spars, body found with a dog's bite on the leg. Hello? Oh, uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure I want that. Oh, now you got two heads. Uh, I'm sorry, dude, but you're kind of dead already. Did that just make the all that go red? Okay. Is that the only way into the sewers? Can I not get in from here? Oh, this is not sewers, it's just, just water. Okay. Cool, well, I'll jump into the, the red water then. But it's no good if they know how I escaped, right? Oh, there's a dead rat too. Hmm. 
Mmm. Nom nom. Triangle toothed little bone. Bones. Oh, a triangle toothed little bone sounds like a useful thing. I could maybe pick some locks for that. No, it doesn't have to be a well made lockpick to be useful in some doors. Aha! Sorry for taking your lunch there, but um, I need it to escape. It's an important message, they want it to be read, it's lit up. Refrigerator, please note if the temperature of the boiler in the sewer gets too high, press the reset button to prevent damage. When this alarm is on, it means that there is danger. That's that's good, that's what alarms are for, I guess. Emergency reset. In case of danger, press here. Hmm. Oh, that looks bad. There's danger. Hmm. What's wrong with this thing? Oh, he's come to turn it off. But he left the door open for me. Oh, I can't turn it on again. Okay, well, that's fine. I was... For some reason I thought it would explode and blow up the wall, but nope. What have we got here? Warning! Poisonous fluid. Immersed substances will become toxic. Well, I could make a toxic healing potion, but that doesn't sound good. Toxic flash bomb, toxic jail keys. Hmm. Very strange to have a nice container of convenient source of poison, but uh, we must have gone further on. Make some toxic wine, but let's take the valuable. A bit creepy. Close itself. Any more valuable wines? Yes. What's this? Sewer door, okay. Well, let's open that in just a minute. Like now. Oh, I did nothing. Hang on, is this a light switch? Here's a light switch. Hmm. Whoops, let's not go out there with the lights on. Thought I saw something. It seems quiet enough now. Now we got some new objectives. Escape, well we've okay, we've successfully escaped. Hey, this should be the mansion of Duke von Braun. He is a colleague of Dr. Zeppelinger. What luck. Find some useful information about Dr. Zeppelinger and his machines. In the meantime, it would be nice to fill your backpack with some gold. Find at least 1,500. Alright, we don't have a map of this place either, do we? Well, I do have three water arrows, but I don't want to use them unless I have to. I'm curious about the sewer door. Oh, of course, that's that one right there that uh, he opened and closes. Alright, let's close it behind us to leave... Leave less evidence. What was that? Is, is someone there? There's a lot of people in this kitchen. Very busy. What do we got here? The blue light will illuminate if there is a problem with boiler pressure. The reset button in the sewer must be pressed to restore conditions to normal. Ah, so that's why you came running out. It's the fridge was uh, having pressure issues. It's cold, but there's lots of meat. I'll take the meat. A few crates, probably no. Probably nothing behind them. Oh well, see, probably. Someone's left some valuables there. It's always worth checking. I don't see anything for this mist. Alright, let's get out. I wonder if the light would come on if the door was left open too long. Mm. 
I don't really want to knock all these people out and throw them in the fridge. Uh -huh. Well, someone over there. I don't really want to have to knock them all out. What's this tell us? Instructions for the servants. I will be out of the city for a couple of weeks. Remember to check the plants in the botanic room regularly. Personal note from Manuel. When you have to use the door to the sewer, remember to close it afterwards. This is the third time I found the door left open for no good reason. <clears throat> well, lucky for me, he did not remember. Alright, if I want to get out that way, I'm going to need to get any further that way. I'm going to need to use water arrows. So let's not, shall we? Let's go see what's over here. Ah, oh, you saw nothing. Yeah, it never is. I'm gonna need a square tooth little bone or something. Alright, let's, uh, let's wait for this fella to go past before venturing into those pools of light. What has he got in his. Oh, it's a sword. Oh, that's very neat. He's not just wandering along carrying it in hand, he's got it on his belt. I imagine he would take it into his hand if uh, we happen to get in his way. What's over there? There's a noisy floor. Oh dang, this does not look... Uh, lots of guards and a noisy floor, this doesn't look very promising either. Valuables too, but uh Gah. Four guys all at once in the same room there. Alright. Who's there? Oh, and another here. Oh. You know what? I think there's just a few too it's many of you. I suppose. Few too many. Let's start doing some cleanup work here. Should sure. probably lock all of you in the fridge, that would be. Servants don't need it, but uh now I think uh, this this corner here is good. Where did the servant go? Manuel. Oh, hello. You're coming back. You can also sleep, you know. I think uh, I think that's a good plan. Start a collection. Oh, he's coming back here. I want to see what's up that doorway now. But if he doesn't go very far that way, it's not very dark. I think I might wait for him to come back out again. Yeah, let's wait. Patience, patience, cat. Valuable painting. I'll have that. Could turn the lights on, but you know, probably better not to. Study is locked. Does my key work for it? Nope. Sounds like dogs. That's a worthless painting. What's this? That's valuable. Do they actually have dogs? Oh, maybe the dogs are next door or in the neighborhood. I'll take the water arrows and uh, moss. And moss arrows, though. Can I pick this one? I can. Greenhouse. Adolfo, look under the windows. You have made a real mess on the wooden chest, so put everything back in the right place before I return. Also, take a look at the veggies. The veggies, veggies. Have you fed my dearest flowers, the venom plants, with the chlorophyll? I hope so, or I will kick your ass harder than it's ever been kicked before. Signed, your boss. New objective? 
extra bonus, optional. Find a way to kill those horrible, tough killer plants. Was that turned on and off? Which are the horrible, tough killer plants? Oh, those. Yeah, uh, funny way to kill them would be good. I expect broadheads aren't good enough, right? Hmm. That's lights, but what's... Feels like it should be that light in the corner, but it isn't. Um, hmm. I mean, sword, maybe. Right? They're just plants. No? Yeah, I guess not. Oh, look at the pipes coming on. Well, let's not do that. Does this do something with the pipes? That's to feed them, right? Does that keep them... Does that keep them happy? Nope. Ouch. There's a bedroom key here. And a healing fruit. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. I've got the stuff. Let's just get out quickly before they can kill me again. Uh, I mean, there is an optional objective to kill them. But I really don't know what or how. Let's just give me the objective again. Alright. Well, what was the key I got? Bedroom key. Oh, that door wasn't even locked. There wasn't a bedroom here, right? The locked door wasn't a bedroom. Um, and what else coming to bother me again? Oh, he's going in that room. Okay. The door opposite was locked, and I'm wondering if that's the bedroom. Just gonna check. After he's gone. Nope. Close the door behind you, Manuel. You're terrible at that. Did I check that painting? I did. It's not valuable. Well, I'm getting very big Thief 3 vibes right here from this uh, uh, guard raised with dust specks and a lone candle at the end of the hallway. But I can even prop the candle to put it out? No, not on this mission. Alright, is that the bedroom? Nope. Can I pick it? No, I can't. Uh, which I think means I don't have any way to go forward. Uh, Manuel, do you mind? Alright, that'll do. Just be quick. I thought I saw something. I don't think we've got anywhere you go forward other than the front hall. Unless one of these is the bedroom. Where's that key? I want to see one of these, I mean that one. Maybe this maybe I should have been able to pick up a square tooth lockpick by now, but uh hmm, this looks really bad. Do I have any rope? I don't. It's brightly lit. It's noisy. There's lots of guards everywhere. Who's there? Hello? Oh well. It must have been nothing. Right, well he does move to different places, which could be useful to know. I've got quite a lot of moss arrows, so maybe I should use them here and get just get some knockouts. One, I could certainly jump to the from carpet to carpet, from moss to carpet, as it were. Well. 
if the other two that are wandering around are out of the room, although I think they go upstairs, right? And this Benny is standing here, I could probably get to him to knock him out. I think it's worth a shot. I'll let you find the body, you know. What was that? Did you actually see me? You actually saw me. Okay. What's going on here? Hey. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on there? It's just Benny sleeping on duty again, you know. Nothing to be worried about. Yeah, I watch for an intruder, like... That was... Odd. A very loud, solid drawing sound. Hmm, okay. Well, they're gonna be on alert, because I've seen a body. But they might go hunting somewhere else. Or not. So we have to be careful with him. Make one mistake. Yeah, he was he was searching. I mean, there was, I did see an alarm button in the hall. Or is he coming here? Turn around, mate. Turn around. I'll find you. Just you wait. That's not turning around. I thought my instructions were clear. Oh. See, if you had turned around, then you would have got bashed on the back of the head, not the front. It's always so much easier on the back of the head for you. It's much more comfortable. All right. I don't know where the other guy is. He'll probably come and find me, but... Or is that all of them? Maybe that's all of them. Yeah, there were just three, weren't there? Dang, this is a... Quite a, quite a collection. You know what? Oh, this is the chief guard. And it's labelled. I feel like it's really worth my trouble to take all these people through. To oh, that was not very good. What's that up there? I thought there was only one to watch there. Like bringing them all to the uh, to the fridge. Hello, someone over there. It's a good idea. I mean, it's a terrible idea, but it just it it feels like you know it's just a fridge. They won't freeze to death. They'll just get a little bit cold. I mean, it's unnecessary, but I like this one's just unconscious body here, unless that's his, actually his name. Hmm. I I saw Don't be silly. Hmm. I guess it wasn't Quite right. Just a man sized shadow with a man sized shadow over its shoulder. What was that there? I, I saw something. Nah. See if I can't if I can't be properly sneaky, I'll be still do a good job of cleaning up after myself. Seems seems the right thing to do. I think that's Manuel coming back. Only two more. Three more. Sorry. Can't can't count. No, don't. Did he go in there? No. I just thought like, if he was about to go into the into the fridge, uh, he might see the evidence, which would not be. It's pretty dark in here, though. Nearly done. Wow, well, doesn't seem like anything now. 
I'm just going into the room. I'm coming out in a second. Should be quick. Oh well, I guess it was nothing. It was odd of me to forget that there was metal flooring. That's for sure. Last one. <sighs> Things I do for verisimilitude. Or for a practical joke, in this case. He's about to turn and come back, isn't he? Going it somewhere. What was that? Who knows? Who knows what it could be? Alright. None of you heard a thing. I kind of want to finish taking stuff out of the kitchen because surely there's got to be uh, food and stuff there but I won't oh, well I won't disturb oh that that helps I could have done that a while back actually so now I can get here this isn't valuable is it oh it the center of it is that's I wonder if this one is the same this toggle the same light or is it a different light? Same light. Actually this might lead to the kitchen from the other side, which might be a safer way to get in, right? Well it ain't a bedroom. Oh well I can't pick it. Too bad. There's other doors. So it's guards. Up to upstairs. Certainly not in this room. Tuffing around here. Should check that painting. I forgot. What's in this side room? Oh, it's not the entrance room. I'll just go back to the main hall. Alright. I don't need that. I don't need to go that way. So, this then, I guess, leads to the kitchen. Would make sense. But it's locked. And I can't pick it. So let's not try breaking it down. That would be uh, unnecessary and noisy. And unnecessarily noisy. Is it a valuable painting? No, no. Cheap work of an amateur. That was kind of a waste of a must there, wasn't it? I thought there was a guard in there, though, from the sounds, but they must have been coming from upstairs. Well, I guess it's alright. I can use it for a jump onto loud tile, you know, in my classic fashion. You didn't hear that. Oh, hello. Not again. Does it get cut down often? God, now I have another contribution for the fridge. You know what? I'll just leave it here for now. That's worry about the fridge later. Oh, 
Oh, I've got all this food. I should actually eat it, right? All this cheese and uh, stuff. All right, more keys I can't open. There's a light switch there. That's nice. It's very nice. Chopped out all the banners. I've been kind of missing many of them up, up, up to this point, but uh, why is it a big V? Hello? Hmm. Seems significant. Nothing hidden behind these boxes that are nicely piled in the corner. No. Is that meant to be a cardboard boxes? Needs some different sounds to be honest. Alright, so I'm not getting in there anytime soon. Can I turn these lights off too? I can. I should look. I should. Mm. Wonder what that noise was. What was that switch? Nothing there. Weird. Where are you? Hmm? Hello? Where are you? He's right there. I'll find you! Believe me, I will. Uh, I kind of hope you do, but as long as it's... When I'm in darkness, then it's okay. Yeah, I like that hurt. It's not supposed to hurt, it's supposed to do that. So where were you? Because I just came in from here. And not even from this hallway. Oh, was it this hallway I came in from? Yeah, it was, okay. Fair enough, so I wasn't really paying attention. So you were guarding. Is this the bedroom? Hang on, I thought. I thought he'd left a note saying he was going to be away for a while. Yeah, let's not turn the light on, shall we? Study room. Can I pick this lock? Hmm, odd noises. Oh. Someone should look into that. It's his wife. Or lady friend. Or something that sleeps very noisily. What the devil is going- what? Ugh. Well, hopefully she didn't seem long enough to get a, a good description there. Things to do tomorrow. One, give the money to Commander Jemson, who should be ready to fly with the Enterprise to rendezvous with the Zeta-1. Two, gotta tell Galvano how to activate the mirror. Just by using the scroll and acting the spell in front of, in front of the mirror. I must remember to tell him in a simple way. He's a little jerk and has learning difficulties. Three, buy some flowers for my beautiful new young wife and some for my dead wife. The anniversary ceremony will take place at the cemetery tomorrow. Galvano, activate the mirror, use the scroll, and acting the spell in front of the mirror. Okay, so that's his beautiful new wife. Is her, his journal or hers? His personal notes. Carl von Braun, personal notes. It has been three years since my wife died, so I decided to start to write something about it. My doctor tells me that it could help me feel better. We were happy, too happy. I knew that. We fell in love at first sight. After the first son, we moved to a fabulous castle. Then when she died, I moved here, trying to start a new life. I thought I could leave the evil spirits in that castle, but I was wrong. And then my poorly daughter, Giovanna, died, leaving me in a totally desperate situation. Father Karras and I became enemies during that period. It all started when he said, Your daughter died because you're not totally devoted to the builder. That phrase bounced in my head like an evil hammer, and since that moment I was totally opposed to Karras and his fellows. Anyway, nobody knows exactly how Giovanna died. She was found in the garden with a wound in the head. The doctor thought that she was playing outside and accidentally tripped over a rock. But I can't believe in an act of God like that. There is something else. Must be something else. One day I will know the truth about it. I'll promise that. The years passed like water under the bridge, but I didn't feel better until the new nature's flower made me fall in love again. Her name is Laura. I met her one day in autumn. Don't remember exactly what day of September. In the morning on the bridge in the Charleston Park. The sun was shining through leaves falling from the trees, and her young eyes were shining in the same evanescent way. So irresistible. In just one month we were married. All my past was forgotten and I felt like a new man in a new unexplored land. Yeah, all your past was forgotten, including your anniversary date. When Karras finally died, three of his lieutenants began to recruit soldiers from the remnants of the Builder's armies. 
During that period, Dr. Zeppelinger talked to me about his mysterious plan, flying machines that would give us the power to defeat any enemies, change the world for the better, and take the place that was once occupied by Karras. At the beginning, I thought that Dr. Zeppelinger was a crazy madman, but after he showed me with his creations, I completely changed my mind about him. He is a genius, the real builder of this era. I can't believe that Karras didn't listen to him years ago. Perhaps he was scared that his leadership would soon be forgotten if someone like Dr. Zeppelinger lit the torch of the new era. Yeah, so forget the metal age when you can fly. Who needs uh, annoying walking metal machines that spout nonsense phrases all the time? Okay. Take the speed version though. I checked that, good. And this is the main uh, room, whatever you call it. Can I pick this lock? Well, I have a key to the study now, so I have an extra room I can get into. That's not a key. That is a key. Go away. Bathroom. Well, you've got flowers. If you're a new wife, what about your old wife? Well, and uh, two toilets. Pure decadence. Alright, so we can't get in there. Let's leave this door open as a reminder, I suppose. And this one, I can turn the lights off as well. But first, let's chop down the banner. And this just connects here. So the guard is guarding the bedroom. Yeah, okay, it just goes around. Although I can get in here. It's a nice bearskin rug. We've got that. Museum and guest room keys. Okay. Put all the keys in here and ensure that nobody enters the museum again. I had some troubles with one of the servants last year. He was fired. So no errors are permitted. Keep an eye on it. What's this? This mirror reflects you and all of your fears. Well, okay. That must be the mirror with the spell. That she mentioned. Alright. Is this which guest room? That's the guest room. Well, since there's no more guards around, let's turn the lights on so I can see what I'm doing. Look for valuable loot. Valuable paintings? No. Nothing. Not a single guest left behind a single penny for me to uh, enrich myself with. Now let's try the other hallway because we've got a new uh, this is study right which was the study that's just storage so that's got to be the museum let's come back there this would be the study no is that the museum no hmm where is that then? All right, uh, with the guards all unconscious. All right, you, you're the last one, right? You're for the fridge. Let's take you to the fridge. Oh no, I've got two more fridge, two more fridge deposits, two more fridge deposits. All right, now that I kind of know the extent of this place, I'm actually gonna go. Should take one with me. Slower but uh, more efficient. Might go and use another couple of water arrows. Just for the sake of uh, convenience in exploring the kitchen without being seen. Wait for him to walk by. Who are you? Help me! Ah, uh, all right. Well, if you've all seen me, then let's just do this the easy way. What? You've got some keys. Mansion keys. Okay, that could be useful. All right. Well. 
Servants, I'm not going to put you in the uh, fridge. Uh, that seems a little cruel. I will get you out of my way. I guess you're going to get in trouble. It seems pointless now to put the guards in the fridge, but you know what? I found the idea entertaining. I'm going to continue the... The joke, as it were. Hang on, where's, where's Manuel? Didn't they knock him out as well? Didn't they knock him out just here? Huh? Something weird or something. He's not there. Did he run in here and... no? How strange. Alright, well let's clean up that other guard just for the sake of... Uh, completion. Completely unnecessary, but you know what? I find it entertaining. Oops, that wasn't a good jump. Well, there's some other ground floor rooms I couldn't get into, right? As well as the upstairs ones. Alright, now you guys can all stay here and chill. Do you don't miss any other edibles here in the kitchen or anything in the sink? I suddenly missed some stuff in the sink. Well, plenty of wood arrows, alright, so I would have got them back. What's this? The book is mostly unreadable. Many words are missing and the language used is a strange mixture of English and Mexican that is difficult to understand. There was a man that he wants not to die, and so they cry every night. What should they try? A baby wants to tell you why the blood will rise over the clouds and over the moon. The power will defeat, but it's only a thrill. Can you survive to the surprise? Open a door over the dream's place to let the stars to get through and let you win. The rest of the book is unintelligible. I've been working here for about ten years as a servant, and I must thank the Lord I have this job so I can survive. My family died a long time ago, and I suffered many years of pain and hunger, until Duke Carl von Braun found me begging in the streets and took care of me and my young brother Manuel. After some years of difficulties, we were much better off and lived in serenity and love within the family of Lord von Braum until his poorly wife died. After that, I very rarely saw the Lord in the kitchens. I don't understand. Manuel is becoming more and more strange. I saw some changes in him just after the Duke's wife's death. Although he looks like a lamb, he becomes furious if I mention any errors he has made. One night I heard him talking in his sleep. He obsessively repeated this phrase. Look in the freezer where I hid the jeweled ring. Look in the freezer where I hid the jeweled ring. I looked in the freezer, which was difficult, because I hate the cold, but I didn't find anything. I think that I'll soon leave this manor. Lord Ferguson's steward talked to me yesterday. Seems to need one more person for the next year. I think I will accept. They have a better and bigger house, and they will also pay more. Look in the freezer where he left the jeweled ring, huh? I mean, I look, I was in the freezer. Let's look again. Look in the freezer where I left the seven guards. Or is it eight? I don't remember. I mean, are we looking for the jeweled ring or are we looking for something more? Because we found the jeweled ring, we found some sacks or something, but... Uh, lots of fish. Can't really see anything else there. But maybe that's all we needed, is just the jeweled ring. Um, strikes me that Manuel, Manuel's disappearance, judging by something strange going on in that note, and the... Odd laughter we heard sometime after I knocked him out are probably related in a way that I do not comprehend. Uh, that's locked, right? That's the study. Oh, we've got the study key. Okay. Die, evil banner of doom. Dear Von Braun, considering that magic is our major interest, I can confirm to you that what we found is an ancient spell about the transmutation of matter. I know you want to use it for the mirror. Just be careful and store the scroll in the same place I saw last time. 
It is perfect behind the cabinet near your bed. I will meet you soon with another one for your collection. Send me your conclusions about the stone tables we found in the last trip. Your brother, Duke Stephen von Brown. Cabinet near the bed. All right, let's make a note. No, I can't. I don't even have a notes page. Let's not make a note. Let's try and remember the cabinet near the bed. Dear Dr. Zeppelinger, here is your loyal friend von Braum. We will soon accomplish our most precious goal, the total destruction of the pagans. But before any steps are taken, we must ensure that our technical systems are protected against any possible type of attack. As I write this, the propeller set machine is being loaded into Zeta-1. Tomorrow morning it will be airlifted to the secret location we decided. I never yet said thanks for the gift of the flying machine you brought for me for emergency use. I hope it will never be needed. I positioned it in the roof above the secret area, behind the Elgato magical lock. I'm sure that no one will be able to find a way to get over there. Ha ha ha. I will move within two days, then we can meet and join together at the Zeta-1 just after the rendezvous with the Enterprise. If everything goes well, that will complete the preparations for the final war. In two weeks we'll be the master lords of this country, and we will reign above all for a long time, my friend. Signed, Duke Karl von Braun. Well, lots of, uh... Oh, what, 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 what? New objectives? One complete? Oh, we completed that one. Find some useful information about the machines. Okay. There is a flying machine somewhere inside the mansion here. Find it and use it to reach Dr. Zeppelinger's flying balloon. Find the lost artifact of Elgato and collect the scepter Gatomas. Von Braum hid them very well. Alright. Can I pick this lock? I can indeed. Well, that's our loot goal complete. Though, of course, I'm not satisfied yet. Anything on this bookshelf? Or this bookshelf? It's very easy to hide things in between all the books on this. It's very poorly stacked, really. You should uh, stack your books close together. Let me check that room right here. Yeah, there's nothing in there. You can die too. Uh, okay, nothing in here that we need, but I've got some reality to kill. Alright, can I open this? Mansion keys. Work on that door. That's good to know. Private museum. Okay, so that's the museum. So what's the, what's the room on the upper floor that is uh, kind of all sealed off? Where are we now? Oh, another yard. For stripping wallpaper. Guess it might be useful. Clean up these mushrooms that leave lying around and glowing everywhere. Wait, is that the greenhouse? Can I do anything up here? Do anything with that? No. I can't quite see, but I think that might be the greenhouse with the killer plants, but uh, I don't know what I would do about that. Where's my mansion keys? Ah, oh, okay, we're back at the front. Well, let's turn the lights back on now, right? See, we've got the front of the house. Uh, so, cabinet near the bed, right? Let's go. Let's go to that first. Let's go back to the bedroom first. While I remember, cabinet near the bed. Cabinet near the bed. Behind the cabinet near the bed. This cabinet. This cabinet. Hmm. Did he mention something about uh, moving the scroll? Mm, doesn't seem. Not behind the desk, is it? Odd. What about on top of the bed? I mean, that's not remotely, you know, behind the cabinet, but. Huh. Behind the cabinet near the bed. That's right. I'm sure that's what it said. 
It's not a note I picked up, right? Well, hmm, maybe it's maybe it has been moved. I have a vague memory about some note about it being moved, but uh, I don't remember what. Right, did I get all the keys, all the doors here? Let's. Right, I went in this guest room. I didn't go in the room opposite. I'm gonna keep the doors open because uh, again, there's no guards to worry about. It's, I prefer the whole concept of keeping the shop, but I keep getting lost. Do I have the key for this? Mansion keys aren't going to do it, right? It's not the museum, and I can't pick it. Okay. And that's just a storage room. No, actually, I'm going to shut the door. It's like, despite what I just said a minute ago, this was locked. The mansion keys should open it. Despite what I said a minute ago, leaving the doors open just bothers me. So I'm going to close the doors behind me. Can I close the bedroom door? Those doors behind me. What do we got here? I can't read that. That seems significant. At the Mountains of Madness. First compendium about the human nature. Second compendium about the human nature. Third compendium about the human nature. Seems that in the ancient Maya Empire they believed in a god, a monster named Anulendu. I think that probably it was a strange animal of that era. And the whole story about it is written here in these rune tablets. I must translate them all. Here is the translation of one of them, and I am trying to understand what it means. Once Anulendu rose from the surface of the fires of hell, the scared people ran away from the cities. A man, a hero, came to claim the powerful magic of a sorcerer, and the moon watched over them all. The final combination uses runes in this sequence. Moon, Anulendu, the monster, the hero, the man. I must make a note about the symbols on the runes in case someone doesn't understand what they depict. The moon is the simple well-known shape of the crescent moon we can see in the sky some nights. The monster is a kind of small face with three descending lines. And the man is formed by a line, one pointing east with a curved line below, and a dot between them. Anyhow, there must be a tablet around here that depicts all five runes together with an explanation for each one. So, is that the monster? Is that the man? That's not the moon, right? That looks more like fire. Looks like a face with three lines, roughly, and the kind of eastward pointing line with curved one below and a dot between them. Hmm. Not really sure what to do about that just yet. There's some more books. Everything about the thieves that you never dare to ask. Harry Potter and the Cup of Tea. Sulfurous materials and magical items of the Dark Age. Oh, hello. This bookshelf was hiding a significant secret. Ah. Here are the runes. It's got eyes in it. Something needs to go there and turn. It's obviously not for the wallpaper scraping thing, right? It isn't going to do me any good here. So there's some kind of combination. I've got a strange crystal. Is that what goes there? No. But it's strange and crystallic. Finally, after searching for many difficult days, we found this crystal. It should be one of the most valuable pieces in the whole world. No, I must correct the last point. It is the most precious piece of crystal ever found. When it arrives at Von Braum's mansion, please put it in a secure place until we decide what to do with it. Signed, Casimiro. Alright, well, uh, we're going to need to figure out a sequence of runes in order to manage this. Uh, figure out what the right combination is here. I don't know what it opens or what it does, but it's definitely going to be significant. Uh, but that will have to wait until the next episode. So thanks very much for watching, and I will see you soon.